Last night, the Cardinals were playing the Padres in Wayno, Fountain of Youth King. Little Tuck Everlasting action, having a career year at age 40. Spits out the gum, says, bring me the young whippersnapper, 22-year-old Fernando Tatis. And there's a lot of good things going on with the Padres and Cardinals right now. And by good things, I mean interesting Good for the Cardinals, bad for the Padres. This is the wild card race from the start of the second half of the season. The Padres sitting comfy in that second wild card spot. Sitting comfy, sitting comfy. Uh oh, Reds knocked them down a little bit, but here come the Cardinals sneaking up out of nowhere in first. And now those Cardinals are playing those Padres who had the lead for so long and don't. And Tatis is ready to go, and this guy's fixing his hair, making himself look pretty, and he's sitting in his nice seat. And if you want to sit in nice seats, you got to go to SeatGeek. you got to use code JOHNBOY. They're sponsoring this video. You get $20 off your first order. Let's see what happens. First pitch to Tatis. That's high. Inside. Ball. Next pitch, curveball right down the middle. wayno has got those for days. Next pitch, curveball again right down the middle again just attacking him says you want to throw another curveball no you want to throw a slider no i want to throw outside fastball here it comes yadi gets ready and bam outside fastball changes it up a little bit wants to get back to the curb he takes a little swing machado's on deck he's taking a little swing they got to win this game they said it was a must win beforehand that pitch is in Side the counts three and one. Tatis wants to oh another curveball. Cuzzy says strike. This fan says strike. Tatis says I don't know. There, yeah, that's a strike. That's a nice pitch. That is a Wayno curveball in there for strike two. Now full count. Wayno says let's attack the top of the zone with a fastball. Bam gets the call from Phil Cuzzy, and Tatis says oh, you serious, dude? No. Look at this. Oh. You can't really do that. You can't risk getting thrown out when your manager and your teammates say it's a must-win game. So Tingler, the manager, comes out and says, that ball's up because he says, no, get out of here. He ejects him. There's not really any camera angles about it because no one really cares about watching Tingler get ejected these days, I guess. Phil Cuzzy, welcome. He's the breakdown king these days. I think he's overthrowing Joe West as the breakdown king. He's in every single video that gets requested out of me. So he gets kicked out. Got to go. Meanwhile, you can see Tatis in the background here. Still frustrated, carrying it with him. Wants to do good. The playoffs are slipping away. His MVP might be slipping away. That batting helmet slipping out of his hands aggressively as it bangs against the bench. The game goes on, though. And we're going to have a base hit here. And by base hit, I mean double down the line. And then Machado steps up, takes a deep breath, says, What up, Phil Cuzzy? How you doing? And he says, Hey. Tell Tatis not to show me up again. I made that up. I don't know if that conversation happened. I doubt it did. Machado steps into the box. He's going to take the first pitch, and he's going to pop it out, I believe. I believe, yeah. No, okay, just a ball on the outside. I could have edited that pitch out. Sure could have. Then he pops this one out for out number two. We're going to keep things moving. He stays at second base. Next batter comes up. First pitch out. So now the inning turns over. Machado goes back to the dugout, and when he walks back to the dugout, he sees the third base coach yelling at Tatis a little bit, saying, hey, we can't have that. We can't have you yelling and screaming. So the message is pretty simple there. Hey, it's not about you. It's about the team right now. You're the best in the world. Everybody knows it. Nobody cares. Just go play baseball. We need you. Team needs you. It's kind of Machado's message. Could he have said it in a better place, in a better situation where we don't have people filming it from the crowd and then people asking questions about it? Probably. Did he? No. Is the message good overall? Yeah. Is it worrisome that there's like a lack of leadership in the Padres dugout, kind of, a little bit. But overall, I think Machado's got the right idea. And there's an article written about it. Uh, Dennis Lynn from The Athletic. Subscribe to The Athletic. Go read the article yourself. I pulled out a couple quotes, though, because I think it shows you 
uh, the change in Manny Machado over the years that he even admits has happened. He says, I've learned things. And this was a conversation he had with Britt from The Athletic earlier. There's a time and place for everything. In Baltimore, I was young. I was just there to play. There were other guys that were leaders. Now, obviously, it's different. Guys are looking up to me to lead. He says, I'm old school. I want to teach it how I was taught it. That's what it's about. I messed up a lot at a young age. We've seen a lot of those. We know a lot about that. He threw his bat at the third baseman at one point. It's ridiculous. Like a lot of people. But you take that and you try to learn from it. I'm at the point now where I'll be 30 next year. I want to win. I just want to win. I think we can do that here. Going to sneeze. That's kind of the crux of everything. I mean, I think it's pretty normal. I think usually this would just happen in the clubhouse and not the dugout. But young kid upset about the call teammates trying to say hey we need you to keep your head in the game and, and not get ejected we, everyone knows you're good so go be good and help us win this game that's what matters most right now and just think about this fan joe yancey sitting in his seats at the game taking this video could have been you you could have used code john boy got 20 dollars off your first order 20 dollars off with promo code john boy click the link in the video and then you're joe yancey sitting in these seats taking videos, going viral.